Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you all how to get USB Loader GX fully set up on your system. And there's a bunch of things I want to cover here today. We're going to be setting up our Wii and GameCube games along with some cover art like you can see here. I'll show you how to play from both a USB device and an SD card for your convenience. For those of you who might have Wii games that are in the .rvz file format, I'll show you how to convert those into the .wbfs format using the Dolphin emulator. And don't worry, for those of you wanting to back up your physical media, I got you covered too. Next, we're also going to be covering some themes and music. And then finally, something cool I added at the end for everyone, which is totally optional. I packaged up a bunch of emulator forwarders that I like and also put together some artwork that I think fits with the theme. And we're going to have it displayed in USB loader because I think it looks great and it's an easy way to access your emulators. The only thing is, if you actually want to use these wads, you will need to set up the emulators for them too, which I actually have an older video on here. Now the last thing I'm going to mention before we start, if you have never done the CIOS installer before, you're going to need to do this to get your games to work from a USB device. If you haven't, I'll leave a video for that down in the description. And finally, if you're using a USB device and you're looking at the back of your Wii console right now, you need to use this USB port over here on the right because the one on the left will not work. All right, now let's get started. Okay, so to start things off on the computer, I'll leave a link down in the description below for everything that I'm talking about here today. But we're gonna grab the FAT32 format tool so we can format our USB hard drive. So I'm gonna click the image here, get the option to click keep, go ahead and do that. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is the hamster free audio converter tool. So if you don't wanna add music to USB Loader GX, you can skip this step. But if you wanna continue on, just hit free download, give it a moment. Hit free download again. Give it a moment again. And there we go. Next up, we have USB Loader GX itself. Now, most homebrew tutorials when doing the Wii or the Wii U, it usually comes with USB Loader GX if you follow a good tutorial. But if you don't have it already, just go ahead and grab the zip right down here. Next up is a USB Loader GX forwarder, so we can access USB Loader from your main menu on your Wii. There's an option for VWii here, and there's an option for the normal Wii. I'm gonna be doing the normal Wii today, so I'm gonna click this, give it a moment. There we go. And we're gonna need a way to install that forwarder, which is a WAD manager. We have yet another WAD manager right here. Again, some of you might have this already, but if you don't, go ahead and download it. Next up is gonna be the Wii Backup Manager. This is what's gonna manage our Wii games. So let's go ahead and click this first link that says Wii Backup Manager Build 78.zip. And if you have any games for this that are in the .rvz format, you can download the Dolphin emulator. So let's go ahead and go to the download section. And again, if your games are already in WBFS or ISO, you're fine, you can skip this, but go ahead and grab this first Windows X64 link here. The next thing will be the GameCube backup manager. So if you're adding GameCube games, just go ahead and click the zip down here. Next up will be a theme, and you can already see, kind of see what the uh, theme looks like right here. And this was made by the channel Decepticon. I love this theme. I think it's on par with what I did with Wii Flow, so I'm already just kind of frolicking towards it. And he leaves a link for everything down in his description. I'll leave a link for his video in mine. And you can grab the link for the theme here. And he also has custom icons for his emulators down in the second link if you want his. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then we'll hit download right here. And if you guys want, you can watch his video too to see more like what the theme's about. And if you don't want that theme and just want something more simple, you can either leave USB loader as is with the default theme, or you can switch it to a dark theme like what you're seeing here. There's a couple on this website, dark blue, dark green, dark orange. I already got the one that I needed, but I'll leave this link for you guys below if you want to check it out. And the next thing will be the file that I put together for you guys, which will have the emulator icons as well as the forwarder wads. So let's go ahead and just download this, Hit download anyway. And if you don't like the wads that I provided, I actually have a second link here to a running snake set. And there's a bunch of different emulator forwarders here. The problem is, is I didn't make artwork for all of these. So I only have maybe about 15 in my file for you guys. You'll have to make your own come if you want to use more. Uh, but other than that, we can go ahead and check out our downloads folder. Okay, so now that we're in our downloads folder over here on the right, on the left, you're going to see I have my Wii hard drive. It is drive W and I also have my Wii SD card, which is drive F. We're gonna format our hard drive. So if I right click this and go to format, you're gonna see I have an option for file system and FAT32 isn't a part of this list. So that's where the FAT32 tool comes into place. So if we open this up, it already has my drive selected, which is drive W, uh, whatever it would be for you. You just select it from the drop down. Mine says we hard drive, go ahead and hit start and okay. 
and it looks like it's formatting it to FAT32 now. I'll see you in a second. Once that's done, we can close out of this and we can delete the format tool. We'll just kind of delete things as we go to clean things up. Uh, next, I guess we can go ahead and install our audio conversion tool. So let's open this up, hit run, hit OK, next, I agree, next, yes, next, next. It's a pretty quick install and I don't want to launch it right now and finish. So we can delete this now, we're good on that. And I suppose the next thing we can do is unzip all of our zip files. So we have all of this and this one file here. So right click, hit extract each archive to a separate folder and give this a moment. Once that's done, you can go ahead and delete the zip files. And we're gonna open up our SD card now. So you can see I have that over here on the left and we're gonna start with our apps. So let's open up our apps folder and we're gonna go with USB Loader GX open the apps folder here and see the USB Loader GX folder. If we open this, we have a .dol. This is the file we need. So we're going to back up one folder and we're going to toss this into our apps folder. Now we're going to back up once again into our downloads folder. And this time we're going to select yet another WAD manager. So if we open this up, you have an apps folder, open this up, yet another WAD manager, open this up, you have your boot.dol, back up one folder, toss this in right here. And now we're gonna start setting up USB Loader GX. So let's open up this folder and I'm gonna create a new folder here and we're gonna call it music. And just to get that started, we'll open up the audio conversion tool. And again, if you're not doing this, you can skip this step. I have a song already picked out on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag and drop it in. Then I'm gonna hit next, scroll down and you'll see the OGG file format right here. You can hit convert and then we have to send it over to the SD card. So that's WeSD, Apps Folder, USB Loader GX, Music, and then hit OK. And just let this finish. All right, now we're done with the audio conversion tool. Back in the USB Loader GX folder, we're gonna make another new folder. And this one is gonna be called Images. And we're gonna make another new folder and we're gonna call this one Theme. Now inside of the theme folder, we go back into our downloads. We can go ahead and delete yet another WAD manager. We have Synthweave, which is our theme. And these two files here, we're just gonna drag into the theme folder. After that, head back to the downloads. We can delete the theme. We'll go back into USB Loader GX and we're gonna go into the images folder this time. And we have uh, my folder that I gave you guys. We open this up, we have our icons. So if I open this up, we're going to highlight everything in here and we're going to drag this into the images folder. I'm good with this. Then we can, I think we're actually all set with USB Loader GX now. So let's head back over to the SD card and we're going to make a new folder called WADs since we're already here. Actually, we'll just call it WAD, W-A-D. Inside of this, you can see my folder emulator WADs over on the right. We're going to highlight everything here and drag it right into the WAD folder. Go back to your downloads folder. We are now good with the folder I provided you guys. And uh, we're good with USB Loader GX. We have a USB Loader GX forwarder right here. It's another WAD. We're going to toss this into our WAD folder. Now we're good with that as well. Head back to our SD. And now for those of you who want to run games from your SD card first, right click on your SD, go to a new folder, and we're going to call this WBFS. This is where your games are going to go. So to start things off, I'm going to show you how to do the SD card, and then I will do the USB drive next. You can see right up top, I have Super Smash Bros. RVZ. We need to convert this to ISO and then convert it to WBFS. To do that, we're going to have to use the Dolphin emulator. I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop. I'm going to call it converted. Really, you can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to copy this file and paste it into this folder. And just give it a moment for it to uh, finish up. Once that's done, we're going to open up Dolphin over on the right, open up this folder, and we're looking for Dolphin EXE. Open this. We're going to go over into Options, Configuration, and we need to find that folder where we place the ISO. So go into Paths, go to Add, and this was on my desktop, and I named the folder Converted. So if I hit this, select Folder, exit out of this, you can see our game is now recognized inside of Dolphin. You can right click the game, go to convert file, ISO is already selected, then just hit convert. 
it'll send it to the same folder it's in. You can see it's already in .iso over here and hit save. Just give this a moment to convert. Once that's done, you can hit OK, and we're good with the Dolphin emulator. We can exit out of this. Now, if you don't want the Dolphin emulator anymore, you can go ahead and just delete that. If you want to keep it, you can. And now we're going to start with the Wii Backup Manager. So if I open this up, we have the 32 and the 64. This depends on your system that you're running. I'm doing 64. And what we're going to do is locate that ISO. So if I go to Add, we're going to go to File because it's just one game. You can see it's already searching in the converted folder, and the .iso is right here. We're going to click this. It adds it into the backup manager and gives it an ID, which is great. Then you hit the check mark, go to transfer, WBFS file, select your SD card, and put this into your WBFS folder. Hit OK, and let this transfer. All right, when that's done, if it's still selected, you can hit remove and do selected. And now I will show you guys how to add it to the USB hard drive. Now, I already have my Wii games in a folder right here on the desktop. I got three games in here. This time, I'm going to go to Add Folder. I'm going to look for my desktop and look for Wii games. Hit OK. Here's my three games. They all have their game ID. Go to Select All, Transfer, WBFS File. This time, we're looking for our hard drive, so that's Wii HDD for me. And notice we don't have any options inside of this folder. That's because we need to create a new folder on this as well and call it WBFS. So if I go into this PC, hard drive, new folder, go to WBFS, and exit out of this, here it is right here, and then hit OK. And now it'll start transferring those three games. All right, when that's done, we're going to do the same thing. If everything's selected, go to Remove, Selected. And we're done with the Wii Backup Manager. Let's close out of this, head back to our downloads. You can keep the Wii Backup Manager because you're probably going to add more games in the future. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do is the GameCube Backup Manager. So let's open this up, go to gcbm.exe, slide this over so you can see. It's going to say choose your preferred language. We're going to do English, hit OK, and Set. If it gives you this option, go ahead and hit Yes. And when it's ready, the first thing we're going to do is go to File Destination right here. And we're going to select the drive that we're putting this in. See where it says inactive? Go ahead and hit the drop down. And I'm going to put this in drive W, which is my hard drive. It's going to give you a message. Uh, this is a valid device, but there's no games folder. Do you want to create one? Go ahead and hit yes. Saves us the trouble of having to do it ourselves. Uh, go back into the first tab for files. We're going to go to more directories. And I also have my GameCube games on uh, my desktop as well. So GC games, hit OK. They get populated with their game IDs. You can go to select all and uh, go ahead and hit install game all right and we're all set with the gamecube backup manager now we can hit the red x for stop and exit and i did realize i skipped over something uh for you guys here so i'm going to go into my recycle bin and i'm going to bring back that folder that i had you guys download for that i put together for you guys so if i open this up there was an xml file that i didn't transfer so if i minimize this go back to the sd card go into your apps folder go into your USB letter GX folder, and we're just gonna toss this right into here. What this does is it's gonna split the uh, emulators into categories. That way you can just get a nice view of everything in one shot. It won't categorize your Wii and GameCube games because who knows what games you're gonna have compared to me, but the emulators should be all set up now. And with that being said, we are all done with the SD card. Let's head over to the Wii. Okay, so now that we're back on the console, I already have my SD card in, I have my USB drive in, and I'm already in the homebrew channel. What we're going to do here is just head over to yet another WAD manager. We're going to open this up and we got to install our forwarders and uh, USB loader GX. Uh, once you get this option here for select source, it should say Wii SD card slot. Go ahead and hit A. It should automatically take you to your WAD folder. What you're going to do is go down to the first option, hold down the plus button for maybe three seconds. It'll select everything and then press A and A again. And it should go ahead and install these 16 WADs. So I'll see you in a second. All right, when it's all done, it should hopefully tell you 16 titles succeeded and zero failed. And press the A button to continue. And then we're gonna hit the home button and it's gonna take us back to the homebrew launcher. And then we're gonna hit the home button again and head down to exit to system menu. So now that we're on the menu, we can see all of our forwarders. And again, you're gonna need to install the emulators themselves separately if you want these forwarders to actually take you somewhere. 
Uh, we also have our USB loader GX here, which I'm going to open up now and hit start. Okay, now it should hopefully recognize your USB device. Uh, if it doesn't, make sure you're plugged into the correct slot on the uh, system. Make sure your hard drive is formatted to FAT32 and make sure you've done the CIOS installer. Assuming that you've done those things though, it should pick up your games. You can see it sees my six games right here. If you're using a SD card instead of a USB hard drive, I'm going to show you that real fast. Just go into settings, hard drive settings, and then go to SD card mode, turn that on, hit back. And this is going to reload the application just through the SD card this time. Just give it a moment. All right, and here's our one game of Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I am going to continue the rest of the tutorial with the USB hard drive, so just give me a moment while I switch back over to that. Now, for those of you who want to install your games physically off of some discs that you have, you can go ahead and just insert your disc on this screen. You should get a message that says disc inserted. Go ahead and hit install and install game. You just hit yes. Now, this will take about 10, 15 minutes, depending on how big the game is that you're installing. I'm not going to do this for the sake of the video, but that is all you have to do to get your games running. Uh, once it installs, it should appear in this list when it's done. Now, continuing on, the next thing would be adding our cover art. Well, what I'm going to do is head over to ABC. Actually, I headed to the wrong one. We're going to go here and we're going to select NAN channels. Hit OK. And now this is everything we currently have. And the reason I'm doing this is because there's things like the forecast channel. If we have this option open now, we can just click the box. If your Wii is connected to the internet, you can hit OK. Found missing images, hit yes. And this will download cover art automatically for what it can. And uh, probably is going to take maybe two minutes, so I'll see you soon. Okay, when that's done, it should say download finish and it'll tell you if any were not found. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and we should have mostly everything here in this list. Everything's looking pretty good. So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to put your theme on. So if we go into our settings, go over to the right, go over to the right again. We have theme menu. Go ahead and select this and then click your theme. Go to apply and hit yes. And here we go. Now this theme should have music on its own, but I did show you guys how to put in your own. If you want to do that, go over once, go to sound settings, background music. We're going to go into our apps folder. Look for USB Loader GX, go to music, and then select your song. Hit OK. And I'm just going to lower the volume. I think 30 would probably be good for me. Hit back. And we're good to go. Now, another cool thing that I have here for you guys, it, uh, with that XML file that I showed you before we came back over here, everything's sorted into categories. So we have emulators and Wii and GameCube. You'll have to add your own games to Wii and GameCube. I'll show you how to do that yourself. But if we turn this one off and open up emulators, go to save, and then we can change our point of view of how we look at things. Here are all of our forwarder channels, everything looking nice and neat. Now, if you want to do that with your games, we can go ahead and go back into the folder, turn this off, select all, go to save. Everything should now appear in this folder. And you can go into your individual games, like carnival games, for example, go to settings, categories, and then select Wii and GameCube. Go to save, press the B button. If we go into the folder again and change our viewing angle. You turn off all, open up your Wii and GameCube. Boom, you have our one game that we added to it. So that's the gist of that. Uh, again, if you want to just view everything, just select all, hit save, and you're good to go on that. There's different ways to view your games as well. You go like this, have like a good sliding platform, which is cool. And then you got this one. And then you have your list view. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys. If you have any comments, leave me one down below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. And I hope you guys enjoy your setup. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.